Well, it's winter season on the farm, and maybe many of you are thinking, well, I guess we'll talk to Farmer Jones next spring when things start to come to life. It's part of why I wanted to talk to you today. Midwinter, really a cornucopia of fun things. You know, we're all about trying to eat seasonally sensitive and really working within the seasons. Now we stretch that a little bit on each end. Of course, the old saying of early bird gets the worm. We're trying to have the tomatoes a little early and have them a little late. One of the things that's really exciting to us is using a root cellar where we're going down into the earth about five feet deep. Now what's cool about that is that your temperature stays the same year round and you're reducing your carbon footprint because you're not using any refrigeration. This is the way they did it for hundreds of years. You can see the champagne beets, the red beets, the gold, the candy striped beets, the white, they all were harvested this fall and they've been in root storage along with the red garnet and the clear water. Jerusalem artichoke, also known as a sunchoke. You know, for a long time, I was a little hesitant about them and had a chef here, Bradford Thompson, in fact, and he cooked some up for us for breakfast one morning and I was, well, they're phenomenal. Give these artichokes a try. Spinach, we've been talking about spinach for months. It's one of those things that we just do really well here at the chef's garden. This is a wintered over spinach, or we call it an ice spinach. And these are coming from cold frames out in the field. These freeze at night, thaw during the day, and they're unbelievable. It draws the sugars up. These are actually testing as sweet as a red delicious apple. Flavor is amazing on this ice spinach. Let's keep moving. The Crohn's came from Crohn's, France. Actually in the mint family, kind of a refreshing cleansing flavor to them. This is a garlic that we're growing in the greenhouse and we're forcing it. And so what you get are individual cloves with a green strand. Now, this is kind of cool. It's a good clean product and we have those year round from the greenhouse. Yes, we're actually starting to pick a few specialty cherry tomatoes and they're coming as a mix. And the cool thing is, is we're leaving the calyx on and I think those really look great on the plate. Now here's some of the carrot and there's all varieties, the peachy pinks and the yellows and the orange and the whites. We leave the soil on them until you order. Then we bring them in and clean them up and then ship them out to you. Flowers are coming in great. There's the borage blossoms. Boy, this is really a cool one. The rainbow lucky sorrel. And of course you can envision the flavor profile with sorrel in it. It is just so beautiful. The stems on them are amazing. Give this lucky sorrel a try. The mini sorbet princess package is a collection of some of our very best tiny little delicate flowers. Even though they're small, they can add such an amazing punch to the plate. Not bad for January. We actually have more we'd like to show you. But you know, let's shut her off for now and we'll see you next time.